Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Interest questions. So in the UK cat, you often get questions on tax and interest. And over the next two tutorials, tutorial 11 and tutorial 12, we'll cover both of these types of questions. So firstly, what's simple interest? Simple interest is when the amount of interest earned is fixed over time. So for example, let's say we go and put £100 into a bank and we get 30% simple interest. Well, 30% of 100 is 30. So after a year, we'll have, or at the end of at the start of year two, we'll have £130 in the bank. At the end of year three, we'll have £160 in the bank. After another year, we'll have £190 in the bank. And what you see is that the interest earned year on year is still £30. It's still 30% of the original investment of £100 into the bank. Compound interest, in contrast, changes over time. So, if we put £100 into the bank, after a year, we'll be at 130 Then, for the next year, we use 30% of the new value of 130 So, interest is based on the amount already earned or already in the bank which means that we accumulate more and more interest each year. The percentage, 30%, stays the same, but the actual monetary value of the interest increases. So we do 30% of 130 to get £39, which brings us to 169 for year three. Then, doing 30% of 169 and adding that to 169 brings us to 220 for year four. So, if we're investing or putting in £100 into a bank, it's much more profitable for us to get compound interest than it is to get simple interest. And in real life, compound interest is the most common out of the two. In the UK cap, you want to identify which type of interest they're asking you to calculate, as the calculation will vary considerably for both. So, Let's have a look at a question. Tony took out a loan from Lakefield, his local bank. The interest rate was 5% per annum on the original amount year on year. If Tony borrowed 20350 from Lakefield, how much interest does he pay over four years? For this question, the answer is B, 4070. So first of all, you want to identify that the question is based on simple interest. It says the interest rate was 5% per annum on the original amount. So the keywords original amount tell us that it's simple interest. In questions, they won't tend to spell out the fact that it's simple interest by telling you explicitly. Instead, you'll have to look at phrases such as original amount and infer that it's simple interest. So, the calculation we do is the loan times the interest rate times the number of years. So, we we'll do 20,350 times 1.05 times 4 to get our new value. And then we just minus the original investment of 20, or original amount borrowed, sorry, of 2350 to get our answer 4070, so 4070 pounds, which is answer B. Moving on to the second question. Meanwhile, Tony's brother, Rush, took out 5,000 pounds from a different bank, the Harvey Group, with charges compound interest of 3.5%. So here they spelt out the fact that it's compound interest for you. 
And notice, if in the previous question you had used compound interest, then perhaps you want to go back and recalculate the answer because it's clearly telling you that this question is about compound interest and strongly hinting that the previous one was different and about simple interest. So the question says, how much does Rush have to pay back after three years? The answer for this question is C, 5,544. So it's compound interest here. So the best way to calculate is by doing 1.035 to the power of 3 times 5,000, the original amount. So remember, we haven't got the power function on our calculator, as we saw in tutorial 9, adapting to test conditions. Therefore, Rather than doing um, 1.035 times 5,000 and writing down the year one value and then doing 5,175 times 1.035, writing down the value and then doing 5,356 times 1.035 and getting 5,544, instead of doing that, we would rather do 5,000 times 1.035 equals and keep the number in your calculator and then just press times 1.035 equals and then times 1.035 equals. This might sound very simple but it saves you a lot of time rather than writing down year by year the amount earned. And the answer we get is 5544C. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.